With the Direct Test Tool, you have direct control over all of the outputs of the Arco test set in terms of amplitude, phase, and frequency. This video tutorial will show you how to perform a quick tripping test with the Direct Tool. The table on the left shows all of the active analog outputs. These analog outputs have previously been defined in the hardware configuration. On the right, the trip and close events of the controller are displayed. You can switch between two states, the fault state and the pre-fault state. The output values for these two states are adjusted automatically. However, you can manually change the voltage and current values by clicking the table. You can select and change the amplitude, phase, and frequency of one or more phases at the same time. If you are running the software on a laptop, you can enter the values directly via your keyboard. Alternatively, use the numpad to define or change values. If you want to discard your changes and use the default values, click the reset button. In this example, a symmetrical three-phase load current should be applied in the pre-fault state. Adjust the values for voltages, phase angles, and frequency as shown before. Then, define the fault state. In the fault state, a fault is simulated in order to receive a tripping command from the controller. On the right, you can monitor the status changes of the trip and close signals. Per default, the open command of the controller is used as the trigger function. You can change this setting in the off on trigger menu. It is also possible to change the status of the circuit breaker or the yellow lockout handle of the recloser. Now you can start the test in the pre-fault state. Once the test is running, the screen area is highlighted by a red frame. The red frame indicates that live voltages and currents are being output. As you can see in the events window, the controller does not trip for this load condition. Switch to the fault state. The controller trips at the defined fault current and sends an open command. This is shown in the events window. Since the off on trigger function was defined for an open command, the outputs are turned off as soon as the open signal is received. Now you can analyze the trip time and add the results to your test report. You can also run a test using the pre-fault values and manually increase the values for the current outputs while the test is still running. You can increase the values until you receive the desired trip signal.